Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode six of Let's Play Joe Devers Lone Wolf HD Remastered. So I found out something very, very, very promising and cool. Um, I was looking while well, the achievements appeared on the Steam page. I didn't show you guys, but it said something about finishing chapter two or something in Act One of Lone Wolf. So, see, Act 1, Chapter 3. There's going to be multiple acts, so this game is larger than, um, you know, expected, which is awesome. Okay, we beat up the giants. Uh, we took everything they had, including Nailer. Um, your quest was updated. Let's go ahead and look at our inventory. Do I want to equip Nailer? Um, versus my knives, which I only have three left. Um, probably. We've got 12 crossbow bolts. We could buy some explosive. It does more damage. So we'll try the crossbow for a while. Um, and now let's go ahead and move. Well move all the ingredients to like a certain page uh, or a certain bag we'll put it in this bag we'll put this shield in there we're gonna sell the shield and um in here we'll stick our knives up there so there we go all right so let's continue the story um you move away from the bodies of the dead Drakkar and its GIAC patrol and hurry towards Leandra she has now fixed the three missing parts in place. Your courageous action has brought her the vital minutes she needed to complete the reassembly of the control me mechanism. The elevator platform is now working and you can hear the loud hiss of steam and rattle of heavy chains as it rises up from the floor of the sunken forest. Then the platform appears at the cliff's edge. It is a large oblong shaped elevator with a safety rail around its sides and a flat roof made of corrugated iron. Leandra points to the platform. She has to shout to be heard above the hissing and clanking noises of the heavy machinery. Get on the platform! I'll work the control lever to make it go down! The elevator will descend the moment she depresses the control handle, but this will leave her with very little time to reach the platform, and she will have to leap onto it while it is descending. This is a dangerous action. If she misjudges her jump, she'll likely fall to her death on the rocks below. Uh-oh. Make your choice. The choice is hard, but your mission comes first. You go alone. You run towards Leandra. You'll go with her or not at all. Not go at all. I think we gotta go with Leandra. You have no intention of leaving Leandra alone at the cliff edge. The noise of the working elevator platform has alerted every Drakkar and Giak in the village. Giak in the village, and they are now rushing towards this area from all directions. What are you doing? She cries, her eyes wide with surprise. I told you to. We leave together or not at all? You reply forcefully. Leandra shakes her head in disbelief. Very well, here goes, she yells, and she tugs the control level lever down hard. There is another loud hiss of steam, and the platform's winching chains screech as they reverse direction. You grab her hand and pull her away from the control mechanism. You are anxious to reach the platform before it disappears completely from view. Leandra tugs her hand free from your grasp and shouts, I must take the handle. The Giax will follow us if I don't disable the control mechanism. For a few agonizingly slow seconds, you watch as she unbolts the handle and slips it inside her tunic pocket. It's done, she shouts. Now, follow me. Leandra runs headlong towards the edge of the cliff where the elevator platform is located. It is no longer in view. It is already descending towards the forest floor. She grabs your left hand, and before you can hesitate, she leaps from the edge of the cliff and pulls you with her. For a few stomach-churning seconds, you fall towards the roof of the elevator platform. Then you hit the corrugated iron surface with a heavy jolt that leaves you bruised, breathless, but thankfully still alive. For a few moments, you cling to Leandra, holding her tight as both of you recover from the shock of the jump onto the elevator platform roof. 
The force of your impact has buckled the thin iron sheeting and you are able to kick away this damaged section. Carefully, you lower yourselves through the hole and drop down onto the floor of the platform beneath. Oh, glad we made it. The elevator is making a slow and steady descent. You can see the snow-covered tips of the pine trees rising inexorably towards you. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's really cool. We're headed to the sunken forest. There goes some crows or something. Oh, going down. Okay. Neat. Very neat. And we'll leave the town behind. I guess I can't visit that store anymore. Thank you, says Leandra. For what, you reply. For being a man of your word. Before you can say another word, you hear the plaintive howl of a wolf echoing above the noisy clank and rattle of the elevator machinery. It draws your sharp eyes to the perimeter of the sunken forest, to where a narrow gully forms a V-shaped cleft in the cliff wall. It is a long way distant, but you are able to see a pack of wolves descending the steep cleft in, a, in single file. You recognize the white patch on the face of the leading wolf. It is the pack leader you encountered before entering Rockstarn. Friends of yours? asks Leandra. You pause for a few moments before answering. Yes, they are friends of mine. Cool. Ooh, we leveled up. Dexterity, dexterity. Intelligence, no vitality, but Kai and endurance and... Oh, we unlocked. Level 2, Rising Sun. You make an arch with the blade of the Summer Sword, which inflicts divine fire damage to all enemies caught within the arch. Cool. And again, we haven't leveled up intelligence too much. Okay, one point. Gonna need some strength, so I'm gonna have to do some reckless actions, I think. Continue. Oh, will be chapter four? Oh, cool. Descending we are. The elevator descends from Rockstar. Nice. There is no way back. Oh, boy. You survey the sunken forest, and a chill shiver runs down your spine. Huh. This sinister timberland is full of enemies. Wow. And dark secrets better left undisturbed. <laughs> the challenge awaits you. Cool. Hmm. Forest hunt. A oh, one. Huh. Are we in act two? One? I guess. Night is drawing a dark cloak over the sunken forest. You shiver with anticipation. With the darkness will come danger. Your enemies, the Giax, can see clearly at night, better than they are able to see in daylight. Soon it will be harder for you to avoid their watchful eyes. Leandra brushes loose dirt and flakes of rust from her hair and tunic while you scan the shadowy timberland, timberland, glimpsing the remains of ancient ruins. Scattered and broken, they are mostly overgrown with centuries of foliage. You are aware that this sunken region was once the surface level of a huge temple complex that collapsed over itself in the distant past. Now the forest blankets the broken remains that extend for as far as you can see. In your immediate surroundings, you spot a feature, a well-worn trail that leads away through the trees. This trail is used to transport ore wagons from the mines to the elevator platforms. platform. Beside the trail, there's a signpost confirming the way to the mines. There's the trail, you tell Leandra in a hushed voice. Let's make haste. Are you ready? More ready than you'll ever be, she replies tersely. Leandra has lost none of her acerbic charm. Acerbic charm. My smoke went out. Oh, jeez. One second, guys. Um, pretty interesting stuff so far. Wouldn't you agree? Uh. She says, Yes, it's too dangerous to stay here. It's nearly dark and the forest is alive with Giax. And yes, we've got to reach the mines. But you'd have us blunder straight into an ambush. Holy Ashir! Listen to me. We will not go by way of the trail. If you want to stay alive, you'd better follow me. Leandra sets off towards the trees at a steady pace with you following close behind. Where are we going? You ask with a hushed voice. Secret shortcut, she hisses. The moment you enter the trees, Leandra weaves her way expertly through the darkened, darkening pines ahead. It is a test of your tracking skills to keep up with her. Hmm. 
Oh, I've got to see the sunken forest here. Okay, that's the Bronin Mines. Let's see the um, full screen view. Wow, the chasm. Sunken forest, some sort of tower. Temple, like ruins. A gate, some ruins here. Oh, wow. This is wild. So this is going to be like Act 2, I guess. Um, do we, we don't meditate? Uh, Bronin Mines. Okay, let's go, I guess. Do you want to write your story from here? I suppose so. The trees begin to thin out and Leandra slows her pace. Ahead you can see a wide semicircular clearing before the entrance to the mines. Set into the base of a sheer granite cliff face, the mouth of the entrance tunnel disappears into darkness. A barricade of timbers, crates, and overturned ore wagons block the way into the mines, but your heart sinks when you get closer and see that it has been smashed down. The brave miners who tried to defend this barricade now lie dead. There are only a few of them, and it appears they fought a desperate rearguard action in order to buy precious time for the others to escape into the mine tunnels. You fear that more Giax are on their way to exploit the breached barricade, and they will likely arrive at any moment. <clears throat> Leandra is horrified. She starts to run towards the entrance, but you manage to grab her arm and hold her back. She's about to curse your interference when the silence of the night is torn asunder by vile Giax cries. They are coming from inside the mines. Roar, Okium, rise, Okala. We will eat you. Roar, Okaka, gosh, you will die. Shocked by what she has just heard, she decides that a stealthy strategy is what is needed now. You approach the entrance together and take cover behind an overturned cart. Carefully, you both assess the situation. We must get to the lower tunnels, says Leandra, her voice anxious but resolute. You admire her gritty determination, yet you are sorely aware that achieving this goal will not be an easy task. There are several Giaks lurking in the darkness ahead. Worse still, you sense that they are being led by Drakarum. They will likely be guarding the main tunnel to make sure that no one can escape their trap. After considering all the options, you make a bold suggestion. I'll draw their attention away to give you a better chance of getting past them, you propose. Begrudgingly, she nods her head. You sense that she would rather go it alone. But she is forced to accept the fact that a diversion is just what is needed now. Hmm. Make your choice. Um, you notice a torch and a cask of lantern oil that spark your imagination. You set up an ambush to draw the Giax attention and distract them. Yeah, I don't want to set the mine on fire, so let's do that. You must run for cover. Oh, snap. Run for cover. You must find the cover, okay? With stealth, you leave your cover and approach the main entrance. A few yards beyond the entrance, you see several smaller tunnels that disappear into darkness. A group of Giax are crouching on the other side of an overturned ore wagon at the mouth of the main tunnel. They are unaware of your approach. With a sweep of your hand, you signal to Leandra to circle around them. As soon as she begins her run, you leap over the wagon and attack your unwary enemies. <coughs> All right. Some combat. Should be fun, as always. Here we go. Um, use our usual strategy. Oh, it's different now. Oh, that wasn't the, the stunning blow that I thought it was. Um... This is the stunning blow. Stunned him. Now you. Um, let's go ahead and fire the crossbow. 301. And we'll do an arcing summer swear, which. Nice, killed one. Um, let's see. My endurance is coming back, so let's combo platter him. That's all it took. Another one appears. Uh, 
eye abilities, um, mind over matter. Still not sure how to use this. Oh, there we go. You click one. <laughs> Boom, 162, 324. Boom, and it stuns them. I love it. Those are cool Kai abilities. Now we wait our turn with our endurance coming back. He's stunned. And none the wiser. Let's give him a combo platter. And a little execution style. Love it. We didn't lose any health yet. <clears throat> Success. Cool. Let's go ahead and loot them. Um, a throwing knife, an ash log, a larnuma bread, a lamspar potion, and a meat soup. Nice. And 28 gold crowns will take it all. You step away from the bodies of your slain enemies and scour your surroundings, wary that others may be approaching from all sides. But the area near the entrance to the mines is now deserted. You are hopeful that your bold attack has frightened the Gex away and allowed Leandra to reach the entrance safely. Fearful for the lives of Leandra and the villagers, you rush through the main tunnel. Echoing through the depths of the mines, you can hear chilling sounds, the screams of frightened humans, and the snarling of vengeful Gex. The main tunnel continues ahead, lit at intervals by guttering wall torches. Soon it divides in two, with a smaller rough-hewn passageway branching off to the left and descending away into the darkness. Make your choice. The main route may be heavily guarded. You go left. You take the main tunnel, hoping that it will lead you straight to the villagers. Um, we'll take the main tunnel. Well, yeah, we'll take the main tunnel because I, I can destroy them if need be. You hurry along the empty passageway until you're brought to an abrupt halt by the sound of Gex ahead. You can hear grunts and groans interspersed with the noise of heavy objects behind dragged across a gritty stone surface. The Gex are attempting to block the main tunnel. You advance with caution until you catch your first glimpse of the Gex. They are stealing off the tunnel with loose roof timbers, boulders, upturned ore wagons, and heavy iron beams. They are acting under the command of a Drakarm soldier, and their work is almost done. Only a small area near the roof remains unblocked. The main tunnel provides the only fresh air supply to the mines. If the Geox seal it off, the villagers will slowly suffocate to death. You must stop them. Hmm. <clears throat> Make your choice. Um, you can't tolerate such an act of cowardice, and you strike with no hesitation. You don't master that. You launch a surprise attack from the distance, catching the enemy unaware. I'm going to go for a strength approach, because we never do. We'll just strike with no hesitation. Oh, use some vitality. Angered by what the Geax are doing, you charge at them and catch them completely by surprise. You collide with the back of a Drakkar and slam him face first into the wall of timbers, rocks, and beams. The force of impact injures the Drakkar and renders him unconscious. Unfortunately, it also dislodges part of the wall of debris and brings it crashing down upon your head. Yikes. <clears throat> so we'll see what we want to do here. The Giak is stunned. Okay, let's attack you and stun you. Okay, you're stunned. Let's attack you and... Oh, wait, our... We have to get a... Let's see what we can... Um, that one. You get a wagon, bro. Boom. 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 1174. He's down to 826. Um, Kai ability. What's this one? For a brief time, you dodge all their attacks. We'll get Wolfie out here. Okay, he's no longer stunned, but, um, oh, let's give him a shot. Dang, didn't kill him yet. He's gonna die, though. Come on, Wolfie. There you go, he dead. Okay, now we've got the Drakkar and two of these guys left. 11.03 for him. Boom. 6.65, okay, let's, uh, heavy blow. 
Oh, missed the execution, but he dead anyway. All right. Um. Oh, I blocked. Still rocks me though. Um. Let's go ahead and give him a combo platter. And uh, finally, Sommer Sword Sunburst. He's gone. I'm gonna get more vitality this level up anyway. And I'm gonna keep working on it to get more strength. <coughs> That worked out well for us to stun him. Yeah, I should have saved my stun though, probably, and, and hit him again with it. Let's get loot. Two flor Floroa Fungi Potions, a Floroa Fungi Tincture, three Throwing Knives, a Lounge Spur Tincture, and 27 Gold Crowns. You can hear Giax running along the main tunnel towards you. They have been alerted by the noise of your combat. Quickly, you climb the remains of the debris wall and pull yourself through the gap near the ceiling with angry Giax shrieks now echoing from the other side of the wall, you race along the tunnel ahead. You are brought skidding to a halt when you see a cave-like chamber on your left. The body of a rockstar miner is slumped on the ground with a pickaxe clenched firmly in his dead hands. The tip of the pick is stained darkly with Giak blood. Clearly he put up a desperate fight before being overwhelmed. <clears throat> Lying beside his body is a furled scroll, scroll of parchment. Curiosity makes you pick it up and unfurl it. It is a report written by the mine's foreman. It says that the entrance to an older and now disused mine called the Old Hot Spring Mine has been sealed off. It also says that there still remains one way into this abandoned mine, an emergency escape shaft. A concealed trap door located beside a fallen pine tree gives access to the shaft that leads down into the heart of the mine. Some equipment has been left behind and the trap door will enable it to be retrieved at a later time. This information could be useful in the near future, however, the time you have spent reading the scrolls given the Giax a chance to catch up with you. Roar Okat now Kug Kugzak on Okat Gaj. You no read when you dead, growls the leader, a scar faced Giak Marauder. With a sweep of its sinewy arm, it signals to the other Giax to attack you now. We're a little worse for wear here, um Can I maybe, you know, have a have a soup or something before we uh, get into the festivities. Let me go ahead and down this meat soup. There we are. I eat the meat soup quickly. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> a Giak Marauder, eh? First time fighting a Marauder, I think. Maybe not. He looks pretty typical. He's armored, though. And two, like, kind of lesser armored EX. Alright, let's go ahead and stun him. And attack this Giak for 2000 HP. Whoops. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and bring. Oh, let's go ahead and do this again. This works well. Um, now that I understand how it works. Bonk, 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 stun. Um, we will try to finish him off, though, with, uh, well, we're not going to finish him off with this. Oh, that canceled his stun. Um, yikes, we need endurance and stuff. Quick strike, 885, that's not going to do it. Got him. That works. Um, he's shaking off his stun. I'm bleeding now. Um, let's just go ahead and give him a heavy blow. Oh, he dodged it. Dang. You gotta be kidding me. Do I have any potions? Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I totally hit that. I totally hit that. We're dead, though. Have to retry this battle. Wow. 
lumps for a potion. Um, can we kill that guy, please? Heavy attack. He dead. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and... Oh. We're down to 42 health. Wait, I can heal. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Uh, combo platter for you. down to a thousand we have more endurance though um let's go ahead and bash him with this 697 he's almost dead we can give him a shot though shot from the old firearm did not kill him but should kill him uh we're restoring. We have full health now from that heal. That's beautiful. I'm bleeding though. He should bleed out. My Kai is slowly recovering. Oh, he drank a potion. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, you're going to catch like a three piece combo. You did. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> um. Oh, we can't do that yet. Okay. We can call our wolf. We probably should have saved our Kai, actually, but oh well. This guy's got a lot of health. We have plenty of endurance. Oh. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and try to stun him. Now let's just wait our turn so we can recover some of the, our stats here. You know, he's gonna die, but let's at least get our endurance back. No, that's not what I wanted to happen. We need a, um, a Kai potion. And that's not gonna do it. I've gotta just kill him here. Bonus points for an execution, I guess, but. Oh, okay, it restored my Kai, the execution. We can heal next to combat. Getting pretty tricky, this resource management. I need to meditate sometimes, and I need more vitality. Your journal is updated. Two Lamb Spur potions, vocal blackberry potion, four crossbow bolts, and smiter, plus two strength. Whoa, and 25 gold crowns, we'll take it all. Let's go ahead and, um, probably equip that let's see this is 280 to 350 while this is 290 to 362 plus two strength yeah that's just a simple upgrade wow we lose one intelligence but dang gain two strength yes sir. and we're kind of running low on slots believe it or not all right you step over the lifeless remains of your enemies and continue your exploration of the main tunnel at length it leads to a large subterranean hall. Sacks of raw bone and ore are brought and stored here before being loaded onto the mine wagons and conveyed to Rockstarn. On the far side of this hall, you see a large group of Giaks. There are some Drakarm in their midst. They are crowded along the entrance to an adjoining tunnel. Among the growls and curses of the Giaks, you can hear human voices. <clears throat> oh, there she is. <coughs> Giaks or humans reaching for her my girl. You recognize one voice distinctly above all the others. It is Leandra. The villagers fell back to this section of the mines, but they soon found themselves trapped. Leandra is trying to free the villagers so that together they can fight back and repel the enemy. Make your choice. We don't master that discipline. Um, you stealthily move across the hall looking for the best opportunity to strike. You notice heavy chains hanging from the ceiling and quickly devise a plan. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Hanging down from the high roof of this hall, you notice several heavy chains with large hooks attached. They are connected to pulleys bolted into the ceiling. These strong iron chains are used to hoist sacks of Bronin and load them into the ore wagons. You follow one length of chain and see that it passes through a pulley, runs the length of the ceiling, and then passes through another pulley in the roof, which is located on your side of the hall. 
chain descends to a capstan controlled by a stout wooden lever. By removing a block which locks the capstan in position, you cause this chain to rapidly unwind. The chain with its heavy loading hook comes crashing down into the midst of the Giax and Dracarum, crushing and injuring several of the loathsome creatures. Having surprised and wounded them, you draw your weapon and race across the hall to attack them before they can fully recover. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Uh, we need to heal, like, immediately, and that means I can't call my wolf. Unless I use a Lamspar potion instead, but I should probably actually... Yeah, let's just heal. Get her get her going here. Bong bong. Alright, now let's stun the Dracarum. And attack a Giac. Um, they're bleeding. We'll go ahead and three-piece combo. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, um, oh, we can't use that yet. My bad. Uh, heavy blow. They're starting to counter our stuff. Now I wonder if a crossbow bolt will finish him off. Okay, he's got 127. He'll bleed out. You there. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, he died. I kind of panicked and ran out of time. He's off his stun now. Oh, I totally hit that. Okay, let's, um, dang, still can't do that. I have plenty of, of stamina, though. Alright, he's down to 374. Uh, let's go ahead and heavy strike him. Little mm, thing to restore our Kai. Nice, now we can use our Kai. Let's go ahead and heal again. Oh, it's on it's on a Okay, let's um do this then. Sharpen our senses to dodge every every attack. Um get our stamina back. Oh, why didn't it work that time? Let's just drink a Lomb Spur potion. And then quickly attack. Endurance, uh, quick strike. Oh, you're getting overpowered, bro. Boom, you dead. Fun, I love it. Combat is so ferocious and fun. Very fun in this game. This is a cool game overall. I'm really digging it. Hope you guys are too out there. We're just killing Geax left and right, looting them. Getting all kinds of loot, ash log, Larnuma bread, three superior crossbow bolts, an elixir of Oed, Oide, restores 150 vitality per second for 10 seconds, cures poison, could only be used in combat, 35 gold crowns. A loud cheer from the tunnel echoes throughout the hall. The villagers, villagers have witnessed your victory, and they are filled with renewed hope. Their liege lord, Lone Wolf, has come to save them. The first villages you meet are a dozen miners, all badly bruised and bandaged. They are armed with mining tools they have used to keep the Giax at bay. You commend their bravery and they give you a proud salute. As you approach a wider section of the tunnel, you see Leandra. She is attending to some refugees. She looks at you over her shoulder. Her eyes are filled with tears. She gets to her feet and wipes away her tears on the sleeve of her leather tunic. Leandra does not want you to see her in this state, but it is clear that she is deeply troubled. The Giax have captured my father, she says, trying hard not to let her voice tremble. They will torture him, I know they will. He can be as stubborn as an old mule and he'll surely put up a fight. But they are merciless and they will make him talk. Take heart, Leandra, all is not yet lost, you reply reassuringly. You are wrong, she says. She looks at the ground and clenches her fists. She shakes her head slowly from side to side and says, You, you just don't understand. Well, enlighten me if you will, you reply. Leandra lifts her head and looks directly into your eyes. You know that my father is Jen Redallion, the famous inventor. His knowledge and skill would be of incalculable value to the Dark Lords of Helgadad. Even if he tells them nothing, he is carrying his black book. It contains all of his designs, his plans and processes. The text is encoded, but it is a simple code. The Dark Lords would break it before too long. 
A cold shiver runs the length of your spine. If the Dark Lords learn the secret of Jen's steam-powered engines, they will surely use this knowledge to construct engines of war and unleash them upon Somerland. It is vital that Jen and his Black Book are found and saved before Leandra's father is carried off to the Darklands. I give you my word, as your liege lord and as a Kai, I will find and set free your father. The Dark Lords will not have him, nor will they learn of the secrets he possesses. Leandra nods her head. She is close to being overcome with emotion. Abruptly, she steals her nerves and turns to the villagers. Bravely, she tries to comfort them, despite her anguish at her father's plight. Let's see how long we've been recording. 35 minutes, okay, we can go a little further. You're about to step forward to console Leandra when one of the mine's foremen pushes between you. His head is bandaged and heavily, heavily bloodstained around his right ear. He lost his ear to a Giac blade. Excitedly, he insists on telling you how grateful the villagers are that you have come to save them. They have all listened to your conversation with Leandra, and they understand the gravity of the situation. Selflessly, they resolve to help you, their liege lord, in any way they can. They tell you that the forest is vast, and it will be invaluable to have a safe outpost for you to fall back to, if the going gets too rough. The miners speak of emergency supplies they can share, and they inform you that there is also a forge that can be used to repair your gear if needs be. Need, needs be. You thank them for the valuable help before you head for the exit. You must pursue the Giax and their captured prisoner without delay. They will have covered a lot of ground by now, but they will also have left a trail. You must catch up with them as quickly as possible. My lord, the enemy still hold the main tunnel entrance, says the foreman. But there is another way out of the mines. I will show you. <clears throat> cool that we can use this as an outpost, though, maybe. You bid the villagers good luck and farewell. Then you follow the foreman along an adjoining passageway that leads to a vertical mine shaft, where an iron ladder bolted to the wall of the shaft ascends to several tunnel levels above. You climb after the miner until you reach a small unlit chamber. Here he pulls a concealed lever and a hidden portal grinds open. Moonlight streams through the widening gap and a gust of freezing air rushes in and chills your face. This secondary exit was ex excavated in the side of the rocky formation to provide a way of escape in case of an emergency. You now stand on a narrow cliffside, rocky platform overhanging a small clearing several feet above the canopy of the sunken forest. The trail you took previously now lies to your left. The miners could have tried to escape this way, but it is unlikely that they would knowingly risk facing Giax out in the open. Now they will have to fight and defeat the ones who remain in the tunnels if they are to secure the main entrance. It goes against your strong sense of duty to leave your people to face this daunting task on their own, but you know you must go. Look there, my lord, whispers the foreman, pointing to a part of the cliff face where it is less steep. You realize that. From there, you will be able to reach the ground and finally give chase to Jen's captors. You decide to heed the foreman's advice and you thank him for his help. You also tell him that you must go it alone from this point. It is too dangerous for the brave but wounded man to accompany you any further. You thank the old miner, dismissing him. You begin your climb back down the cliff, but as you are doing so, you are alerted by the noise of crunching snow and the ominous rustle of foliage. Fearful that another assault is about to take place, you rush for trees in search of the approaching enemy. The tunnels must not be occupied again. You are looking for the enemy when a patrol suddenly emerges from the darkness. They see you and they fall upon you. In an instant, they all have their weapons drawn and they glare at you with hatred blazing in their evil eyes. How beat up are we? Okay, I guess we can... Well, certainly wouldn't hurt to drink a fluoro potion for endurance really quickly. And let's go. Combat to end the episode. So cool. Um, let's see what we're up against here. Oh, we're outside again. Um, oh, we have to wait for our turn anyway, so... Um, let's go ahead and heal. And then use some endurance. Stun this guy. Boom! See, it seems like it would lead to a follow-up attack, but I guess not. Ah. Okay, for you, we're gonna shoot ya. Bleed ya. Nope, didn't bleed. You have 2200 health, so a three-piece would be good. 
We still have a thousand health left. We have some endurance left, so we'll go ahead and um, heavy strike you. 845. Oh man. Um, quick strike? Oh, I can't get a quick strike off. I don't have enough endurance. Um, oh, I can't do that. Wolfie? Dang, I can't do that. I can do this. It's kind of a waste. <laughs> Barrels. Boom. Boom. Killed them. I guess it's not a waste if it killed them. We can restore that. As this guy's stunned. At least we'll have plenty of endurance to fight them. Oh dear. Now I'm... Um... Knock his butt down. Um... Three-piece combo. Oh, he's, he missed it. Oh dear. Drink a Lom's Fur Potion. We're getting into more potions, but that's okay. Um, heavy Strike him. And finally... Oh, 12 left. Um, not much I can do. Uh, he drinks a potion. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait. Wow, I'm really uh, bleeding away there. Hopefully this kills him. Where's it? Oh, it did not kill him. Dang. Ah. Quick strike will kill him. Restore our Kai. Boom. Hmm, that sword seems to light up. I don't know. Reminds me of a sword from my youth. Toy one, of course. Uh, we'll hit the loot. Tainted bolts. Poisons the enemy. Cool. Oh, a Duranese leather pouch with eight slots. Worth 134 and a picklock and 17 gold crowns. So we'll take this all. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this action-packed episode. Um, stay tuned as more is going to come. Today actually starts a new three-day LP for me, so I'm going to mostly be focused on that, but I'm going to try to sneak in some episodes of this as well, keep it going, and I hope you'll join me for future episodes. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Much love, peace, and joy, and all good things, and I will see you, ta see you guys with more next time from Joe Dever's Lone Wolf. Bye-bye.